Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to RNG trade Pokemon from Duking in Pokemon Gales of Darkness. Um, you're only going to need two programs and the calculator. Um, you're going to need XD Pokemon and GameCube RNG Assistant Tool. So, the first thing we're going to do in uh, XD Pokemon is set the Pokemon, uh, like do the little checkbox over there I did, set it to level 20, and set it to Larvitar. You have to find its Japanese name. You're also going to set um, 24 frames in the lowest little box there on the left, and we're just going to find our initial seed right away. Um, this just involves doing the usual quick battle method of typing the Pokemon in, and uh, then doing it again, but typing their HP stats in. Um, so before we actually do the RNG process, while you're watching me find my initial seed here, um, we have to find how many frames um, it takes to do the um, item menu advance, or how many frames the item menu uh, causes to advance, um, because that's just a nice little thing to know, and it changes kind of in every area. Um, also, you're going to need to test how many frames it takes for the Pokemon to... Uh, that the Pokemon typically advances in itself. Um, Larvitar advances 24 frames, um, but if you want to find out for the other two Pokemon that he'll trade to you, do the same thing I do um, in this video for the... Um, uh, uh, for the uh, item menu, but don't do the 24 frames uh, base advance menu. So, once you've found... Um, your initial seed, you're just going to paste it into XD Pokemon, and you're going to boot up your game. And you're just going to open the item menu once, uh, close it, and then trade with Duking immediately. So here you can see I open my item menu, close it, and then I just go uh, and trade with Duking right away. Now if you wanted to find out how many advancements uh, the Pokemon causes, like I said, Larvitar is causing 24, but the other ones might be different. Just do this, but in the bottom one, uh, in the bottom left-hand little box, don't put 24, and then do the same process. So click the other little uh, button there and um, type in all of its stats properly. Oh, also, um, instead of checking the XD circle, you're going to check the um, little, the there's if you see in the upper right-hand corner, um, there's four little circles, check the uh, lower right-hand uh, circle. Type in all of its stats, hit search, and there you'll go. As you can see, um, I advanced eight frames from my item menu. So that's all you need to know. Now you know how many um, frames the item menu uh, advances. For the other advances, I suggest watching my tutorial on uh, how many advancements uh, cause, like how many different ways to do frame advancement there are in this game. Um, and then we'll move on to our actual attempt here. So for the actual attempt, you're gonna need the same, po uh, the same tool, XC Pokemon. Uh, GameCube RNG Helper, and a calculator. Um, so in GameCube Helper, you click the little circle I just click. Now for the trainer ID and the secret ID, what you're going to need to do is know your secret ID. So if you want to learn how to do that, uh, watch my um, watch my video on getting the shiny starter and the secret ID. But also, instead of your trainer ID, you do Duking's trainer ID. So to generate it shiny, it uses Duking's trainer ID and your secret ID. It's kind of weird. Um, uh, Larvitar also causes uh, 24 frame of advancements, um, but I just explained in the beginning of the video on how to figure out how many frame advancements the other Pokemons might cause. And here we're just going to find our initial seed, uh, as we always do. Um, it's very simple, just type in the Pokemon and their stats. So once you've found your initial seed, you're going to paste it in to XD Pokemon. Or you can't paste it, actually. You have to type it out yourself. It's unfortunate, but... Also, click the Store Seed button in the GameCube RNG Helper. That's very, very important. Um, so... Oh, I'm just making sure everything's seeable. Sorry. Okay, so... Type the seed out, no problem. Uh, and make sure it's all caps. I mess up here. <laughs> um...
and then hit shiny only and search. And uh, when you get nothing like that, um, that means you have to increase the frame range. So I'm just going to increase this to 60,000 and you'll see I get some pop-ups. Now I'm going to aim for this one. It's adamant natured. Um, and you can see it's on a super far away frame. So what you can do is you can hit the reroll button. Then you can type uh, this, the new seed that you get from the reroll button into your seed box there. And you'll see um, there has been some advancements. So if you watch here, I'm going to type in my next seed. So this was just with one reroll, by the way. Boom. So as you can see, it's advanced just a little bit. So what you have to do is a buttload of advancements. So you'll see here in one moment. Um, it ends up costing me around uh, 74 rerolls. And so what a reroll is, is basically leaving the quick battle ultimate and then just going back into quick battle ultimate. It's a very quick way to reroll it. But as you can see, I'm only 600. Oh, actually that's wrong. Um, uh, you're going to have to put for the Pokemon how many base frame advancements they cause into that bottom menu I just typed into. The Larvitar always causes 24 frame advancements, so just, just put that there. So, um, as you can see, that's how many um, frame advancements I need um, here. So I need to do 619 frame advancements, and the way I figure this out is, since saving causes 63, and that's the largest one, we do 6... 119 divided by 63 that's only 9 so what I'm gonna do is 619 and I'll subtract 63 nine times until it can't be subtracted by 63 anymore then I'm gonna sub, uh, subtract it by 8 which is how many advancements the item menu causes until I can't do that anymore um, and then we're gonna get four and that means we only have four advancements left to do and so we just do two weights where he does his little fidget motion and so that means I have to save nine times check my items six times and wait two times after going in and out of quick battle 74 times from our uh, initial seed so that's what this is gonna be this is gonna be just a super fast forwarded version of me slamming in and out of quick battle at like the speed of light again this is 74 advancements you have to really be sure you're counting properly or else you'll go way way over um, this is at like 400 times speed, and it still takes probably 20 or so seconds. Um, but if you're lucky, you won't have to advance this many times. Um, I do because my initial frame was 60,000 away, um, and I just think this is kind of the easiest way to do it. Um, there may be better methods by looking at a Shadow Pokemon summary or etc., but whatever. Once you're done doing the advancements, um, load up the game and do your next advancement. So if you remember, I have to save nine times here. Um, and that will cause it to have 52 advancements left. Um, and this is just the way I've done the map. Um, if you, there might be like better ways. Like I said, if you watch my video on how to, uh, find your initial seed and, uh, do different frame advancement styles, there are many different ways to advance your frame. I just prefer to do it this way. It just seems the cleanest to me. So what I mean by that is you can look at a shadow Pokemon summary and or a regular pokemon summary wait for the advancements and then re-verify your seed by um you know doing the weights um but here i'm doing the item menu advancements luckily they go much quicker than the waiting or not the waiting the um the saving and then we do the wait here so that's one wait is a little fidget there Uh, there's a second fidget, so I've done two, and now I've done the trade. So that was 74 um, uh, uh, advancements, and um, there's a shiny Larvitar. And I'm just going to show it off in battle in a second. Um, so we're going to get into the battle now, um, and I've just slowed it down to normal speed so you can see it sparkles. Um, hopefully this was pretty easy to understand for you guys. Remember, 
If it was confusing and you haven't watched my How to Advance Frames video, please do that. Um, and um, any other questions or comments, just leave them down below. Um, and I'll see you guys next video. I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks so much. I just want to shout out to Green Darkness who donated this copy of X to Gale of Darkness to me. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you, man. Same goes to my donators and channel members. These videos would not be coming out as frequently or basically at all without you guys supporting me. It really makes a big difference and I really appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much.